Hi, I'm Jeffrey Denning with Guns.com. One of the best and most effective weapons to have is the revolver. A great weapon to conceal a snub-nosed and hammerless revolver is a terrific, durable weapon. Unfortunately, there's only so many rounds. Today I'm going to talk just a little bit about how you can reload this thing quickly. For a right-handed shooter, I'm going to come down with my thumb and with my support hand or my left hand, I'm going to open up that cylinder. If I carry a strip clip in my pocket, then I can quickly reload. And I always want to reload using my dominant hand. As a left-handed shooter, I just take my thumb over, put that, push that cylinder release, and punch it out with my right-hand thumb. Now, there's a couple of ways I can eject rounds quickly after a fight. One way is, as a right-handed shooter, I open the cylinder up, I twist that cylinder straight up, and using gross motor skills with the palm of my hand and arching it flat so I don't puncture a hole in my hand, hit just straight down like that. Being, even though the cylinder's open and it's not loaded, we want to be aware of our muzzle discipline. Another way is, I open that up with my left hand and I reach around and I use my thumb. I can turn my weapon this way and dump my rounds and then reload. Now I don't want to have my head down for too long tactically. It's not a good idea. So I want to keep my head up. So I could reload up here nice and high with my muzzle down. When I when I reload, I want to have my cylinder facing downward and my muzzle facing downward so the rounds will go in and stay in. So I can do it just like this. Here, I'm loading here, I'm loading here. Every once in a while, if I need to, I can look down. But ideally, you want to keep your head up looking for threats. For a left-handed shooter, I could do the same thing. If I'm going to drop that, I could, with one finger, even though it's not a gross motor skill, I could dump my rounds and go for my strip clip in my pocket and then come back up, reload here. You always want to close that cylinder, drop that strip clip, and address the threat. This is a strip clip. In a five shot cylinder or a six shot cylinder, you always want to get a strip clip that's a little bit bigger than what you have the capacity to do, to hold. You could put two in, skip one, and put three. Better than a speed loader, these strip clips can fit very well in a pocket. If you see the reloading, I can bring it in like this and then pop it off with my finger. Rotate one way or the other and then try to pop off the other, the other rounds. Okay? They might have to go two here, one here. All that, of course, requires some practice. Let me... Another way to stage it is just like this. And I'm just going to have it in my pocket straight down. For a reload, I'm here. Strip two, strip two, strip one. For speed, you can set it up different ways and work on that. You can play around with it a little bit, see what works best. But as you'll notice, it's a good idea to leave some area here and here and get a strip clip that's larger than your result revolver is, whether it's a five shot, like this one I'm demonstrating on, or a six shot. Again, you keep your head up, punch it, punch it, 
watching for threats, punch it, drop it, engage. I'm Jeffrey Denning with Guns.com. Until next time, continue to hone your skills and keep adding to your tactical toolbox.